Mission, go to tcm.com slash festival. I've never been the same since I saw this movie. Simply one of our best directors ever. It's amazing. It's beautiful to look at. It's entertaining. This is a terrific movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. I think it's a perfect essential. Gaslight, 1944. This is a movie that brought Ingrid Bergman her very first Academy Award. Angela Lansbury is a spitfire in this movie. The art direction of Gaslight gives such a claustrophobic feel. Gaslight is full of incredible metaphors. We're going to the Tower of London. Very good move. The Tower of London it is. What's the matter with the mistress? She don't look ill to me, is she? I don't know. Not as I can see. But the master keeps telling her she is. Gaslight, eerie movie, George Cukor movie. I know you like George Cukor. I do. Ingrid Bergman, Charles Boyer, Joseph Cotton. Yep. A very unusual type of movie for MGM to have made. They didn't often do mysteries or atmospheric dramas like this, but it's an excellent movie. I think one of the one of the things that shows, Ingrid Bergman won an Oscar for it, her first Oscar of the three that she finally won. But I think one of the amazing things is the casting, because Ingrid Bergman was a big woman, and she was a healthy Swedish woman, and that she plays this woman who becomes very timid and frightened. And Charles Boyer was the most romantic leading man that Hollywood had at that time. He was called The Great Lover. And he's so menacing in this, way against type. I mean, I think this is acting at its supreme. There is nothing more thrilling than an actor feeling like they're not being pigeonholed. I mean, every actor, I think, wants the opportunity for a director to say, I know you haven't done this before, or I know this isn't what you're known for, or this isn't what people think about you, but what about this? That's a complete, you know, 180 from that. That's like you live to be sort of, you know, that clay that can be remolded and reshaped into something completely different, because it's so fun. And also we're talking about daring, uh, on George Cukor's part, Angela Lansbury, 17 years old, never made a movie before, given this incredible role, and she is sensational in it. She is a real spitfire in yeah, this movie. Yeah, she's great. She's just got a lot of layers in very few lines of dialogue. Right. It's all in the way she says it. Oh, now you know it, Nancy, don't you? That gentlemen friends are sometimes inclined to take liberties with young ladies. Oh, no, sir. Not with me. I can take care of myself. And I want to. I have to say that the reason I discovered this film was because my therapist gave it to me um, when I was in my early 20s. And she was like telling me that I was in a relationship where the gentleman was gaslighting me. And I was like, I don't know what that means. She gives me a copy of the film and needless to say, it was nothing, you know, to the extreme that this movie, right. um, you know, goes to. But I was so excited to be brought into the term of what being gaslit meant, right. and sort of what came from this movie. Yeah. So I not only love this as a movie, I love it as a term. Yes. We should also point out the art direction and the set decoration. Yeah. And this claustrophobic feel you get in the house. Yeah. And that's all done by these artists that could create a set on a sound stage and photograph it and light it in a way that it becomes another character in the film. And then the Joseph Cotton character, I think, is a metaphor for light, a conscience who's letting the truth seep in when it's all being filled up with lies. Mm -hmm. I just think there are great, great, great metaphors in this movie. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see the movie. Okay. Here's the film, the first one to put an Oscar in Ingrid Bergman's hands. From MGM in 1944, based on a play by Patrick Hamilton, Gaslight.